do y'all do y'all know that um I was so into the Bible so much. I believed in it so much that I used to sleep with this Bible. I used to literally pray with the Bible on my chest and I would sleep with it while I was on my chest because it's God, right? And I realized that every time I prayed and everything, it didn't matter. Nothing ever came to pass of what I prayed for. I thought when I got a job, when I prayed for a job, that it came from God, but I realized, you know, if I never looked for a job, I would never got that job. It didn't come from God, it came from myself. I'm the one that got that job. And I started to realize that my whole life was a lie. When I started to realize the truth and everything around me and seeing what's going on, these churches, these pastors stealing from people in church, and they, you know, they living wealthy off their money because they're using this as currency. I realized that this is nothing but a show. It's an act just to get money. It's a business. It's what this is. I realized that the Bible is a business. The book that everybody worships, churches, is just a business. It's also made to confuse people, give them some type of hope that's not even there, give them false hope, false power that they already have them within themselves. Like if you heal somebody that is coming from God, no, it's, it's coming from you. You never even met God. The only, the only God that you met is yourself. You are a God. You're the only person that you know. You love your kids, right? You would die for your children, right? You're not gonna hide from your kids. You're gonna show yourself to your kids. They're gonna see you physically. They can touch you. They can talk to you. They can have a relationship with you in person because they're talking to you, not spiritually talking to somebody. A ghost sitting right next to me. This is God right here, right next to me, y'all. Say hello to God. He's he's talking to me. God is giving me a message to y'all. God told me that everything you were taught was a lie. He don't exist. That's why you never met him. He said you never met me because I don't exist. You would never see me because you are God's yourselves. That's why you never saw God. Because you are God's. I was making a joke out of that because people always say they, they talk to God every day or all the time. Or God told them this or God told them that. You mean to tell me that certain people on the earth is way more important than others? When everybody else is suffering and struggling in life, dying, got a disease, missing a, a leg or an arm, and he's talking to you only. And y'all believe this stuff, right? People have to pay bills. So what do you think people are doing on YouTube making fake pages, pretending like they're a Christian, pretending like they're open-minded like me, pretending like they know a lot, pretending like, you know, they're um, this and that, all this stuff, pretending. Just to make money. Think about what I was saying about space and everything else, how the earth was created, how the Bible says the earth was created, but then they give y'all space. They give y'all globe ball earth, but the Bible explains a flat plane. Now that's another thing. If y'all believe everything this Bible says, why y'all don't believe how the earth was created then? Answer that question. Answer this question, people. Everybody, this should wake some people up. Right here, what I'm about to say. If you've been told by NASA, the government, 
on the earth being a ball and you're floating in space with other planets the sun being in the center of all things right you're in the galaxy and everything else why doesn't the bible speak of that why the only the bible says that the earth is created and the the heavens and the earth was created with the sun and the moon and the stars being nothing but lights the stars are lights the sun and the moon are lights but NASA tells you about other things that the Bible don't even speak of planets somebody's lying Either your government is lying or God is lying or both. And guess what? It's both. They're both lying. A little bit of truth and a lot of false. A little bit of truth and science and a lot of false in it. It's the same thing. So what's the truth? That's something that we have to find out ourselves. Stop listening to this and NASA and observe things yourself. Ask questions. Stop fearing God and ask questions. Question everything. Because you don't qu let me ask you let, let me say y'all let me tell y'all something. When you don't question something, you can easily be manipulated. You can easily be lied to. You don't question nothing. That's why they say don't question God Because they don't want you to know nothing Without power you know nothing Which means you can easily be manipulated with no power or no knowledge Or if you don't question you won't know nothing Which means they can tell you anything And you will believe because you don't know nothing 